A warning tonight from a woman who was paralyzed after cosmetic surgery. She ended up in a wheelchair, and now she's not only taking on the doctor who performed that surgery, but also the center and the post-operation hotel they put her in. Rebecca Lopez reports. Rolanda Hutton will never walk again. Uh, it's very traumatic. Um, it's like you never think about not being able to walk. She ended up in a wheelchair after she had a Brazilian butt lift at the Dallas Plastic Surgery Institute. When I first woke up, they were asking me to move and I couldn't feel my legs. We first told you her story back in November 2017. Then she sued the doctor who performed the surgery. But now she and her lawyer have amended the lawsuit to include other doctors who perform surgeries at the Institute and the Cloister, which is a post-operation hotel run by the same doctors who do the surgeries. They send patients there for recovery. Patients are being sent to this so-called hotel, which is really a skilled nursing facility that's not licensed not regulated uh, by the state. Hutton says she spent two days at the cloister and says the staff there should have sent her to a hospital the moment she told them she could not feel her legs. After the second day, I was like, something's wrong. I need to go to the hospital because I still can't move my legs and it's been two days. Her lawyer says Hutton isn't the only one who suffered severe consequences. He claims in 2009, a woman died after a facelift while at the cloister. This place needs to be regulated or shut down or you're going to see more people that have been hurt. Both in 2017 and today, we asked the Dallas Plastic Surgery Institute and its lawyers for comment. They did not respond. As for Hutton, she wants her story to serve as a warning to others of what can happen. Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News.